Welcome to this segment of How to Python. Today's topic, floats and integers. So what are floats and integers? Simply put, integers are any whole number like five, negative seven, or zero. And floats, short for floating point numbers, are any decimal or fractional value like 1.5, negative 8.9, even 0.0, .0 and 5.0 are considered floating point numbers, even though technically they are whole numbers because they don't have a fractional value. If Python sees this decimal here, it considers it a float. If you ever need to check if you're dealing with a float or an integer, you can use Python's built-in type method and it will tell you if it's an integer or a float. If you're ever dealing with larger numbers, Python does support scientific notation. So 5e to the 4 is just 5 with the decimal move 4 places to the right, so 50,000. Any number that uses scientific notation will be a float. We can also just represent 50,000 as an integer by typing 5 with 4 zeros. A useful trick when dealing with numbers with a lot of zeros like this is you can add an underscore where the commas would go and Python will just ignore them, so it makes it easier to read. Okay, so what can we do with these numbers? Well, in Python, we can perform the very basic arithmetic operations. We can add, subtract, multiply, divide, and use exponents. You'll see that we can also combine floats and integers in these operations, and they'll work just as expected. Just note that when you perform any operation that involves at least one float, the resulting answer will always be a float. We also have a couple other operations we can perform. Here we have the floor division operator as well as the modulus operator. So this floor division operator will just give you the quotient of a division and the modulus operator will give you the remainder. So 11 divided by three will give us three with a remainder of two. Next, let's talk about comparisons. Now, when we compare two values, we will only ever receive a Boolean true or false value. So here we are saying is one equal to two. So that's denoted by this double equal sign. Here we have is one not equal to two with an exclamation point and an equal sign. Next, is one greater than two? Is one less than two? Is one greater than or equal to two? And is one less than or equal to two? And when we run this, you'll see that no, one is not equal to two, so we get false. Is one not equal to two? Yes, so we get true here. One is not greater than two, so we get false. One is less than two, so we get true. One is not greater than or equal to two, we get false. And one is less than or equal to two, so we get true. We can also compare integers to floats. So if I were to say is one equal to 1.0, you'll see that yes, they do equal each other, even though they're different types. Some other useful built-in Python methods for floats and integers are ABS, which stands for absolute value, round, which rounds a number to a specified number of decimal places. I should also mention that you can turn a float into an integer and you can also turn an integer into a float. So to turn this float into an integer, all you have to do is use the built-in int method. Just note that it will cut off this decimal portion of the number. And to turn an integer to a float, just use the float method. Here, Python will just add a 0, 0.0 to the end of this number, making it a float. And that pretty much covers it for floats and integers. Test your knowledge by looking at each of these statements and leave a comment what you think the output will be for each of them. Answers will be provided in the description below. Also, be sure to leave a like if you learned something so that others are recommended this video and can learn as well. I'll see you all in the next segment of How to Python.